So what is going on guys? Welcome to another Garden Warfare 2 video. Today, we're going to be playing as the standard rose in today's video. Now, if you did not know, she did get a slight buff in the uh, the recent Trouble in Zombopolis DLC. Uh, all rose classes got an increased maximum tracking angle by 5 degrees, an increased lock-on distance by 5 meters, and slightly increased the reticle target lock-on angle as well. So, those are the overall differences to uh, the rose character classes. We do get some slight changes to the fire rose and the frost rose as well, mainly increasing the, uh, the rate of fire and uh, the movement speed penalty when you do charge the attack. Uh, but, we are going to be playing as the standard rose today, so T... Uh, how much better she has actually become? We're going to find out, is the Rose character overpowered now? Because I did see someone got a really high streak with the Rose character. So, we're actually going to be seeing how she does. But, to do that, we're actually going to be taking some of these upgrades off. We're going to be taking the homing upgrade off, because that is going to make her uh, a bit more powerful. So, we'll leave the reload upgrade on. We'll leave the speed upgrade on. And, should we leave the damage upgrade on? I'm thinking about taking the damage upgrade off just because it does do that extra bit of damage. So we're going to put one of the uh, the regen ones on, just to be a little bit more fur for those who haven't ranked this character up. I did get it to master mainly, uh, it was before the nerf, the original nerf of Rose, but I mainly did this in uh, in the back here, Battleground. So uh, I didn't really play too much as Rose in multiplayer. So we're going to put this upgrade on over here. We're going to play as the standard Rose, and we're actually going to see how powerful she currently is. So let us pick up ourselves a multiplayer quest. What should we go for? For. Should we go for Vanquish Confirmed, maybe? I do play a lot of Suburbanation, so I don't really want to go into uh, into Suburbanation. So I think we'll pick these two quests up here for uh, for Vanquish Confirmed. So I can put that one back because I've only recently uh, recently got it. And uh, my XP multiplier is actually only uh, 1.75. So as we are playing as a character that's already Master, it doesn't really make much of a difference anyway, which is good. So let us go in to some Vanquish Confirmed, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so here we go guys, we are on the map Boney Islands now. I actually joined a game earlier, it was Frosty Creek, and as soon as I loaded in, the game actually ended. So, I got one game completed for that one. The last game that I had, I was on ZTEC Factory, and I couldn't change to the plant side of tile, I was on the zombie side. So, we've got two games completed, and I've still not played as Rose at all yet. I, re I think because a lot of people have joined off me, the last game was completely full, this one is like half empty. Uh, well, not half empty, but there are a few spaces available uh, because it was full I didn't actually I, I, I physically could not change teams so uh, yeah let's uh, hopefully do something different this game can we take out a super brains there we go we start off with a nice little vanquish uh, can we get the second one the uh, the tracking does seem a lot better the damage is still nine for the standard rose of course depending on which uh, which rose character you're playing as oh no I'm gonna need to go into there because there are zombies everywhere they're literally everywhere <laughs> Right, we can go into our Reckon and then we get away from that. And, uh, oh no, we got, like, everything everywhere. The zombies were just all over us, like, it was like they were spawning in our spawn. Look at that, there's three zombies right there, there was an imp in the background, like, where's the team? Like, we, we spawn here and the zombies are still over there. I don't know. Let's see what we can do with this, though. Let us see what we can do. The, the main issue, really, for Rose is because she is a support character. Oh no, there's a mech. Um, if a lot of zombies group up on you, you're kind of screwed. You are, you are, you're pr pretty screwed, especially if a lot of them two team up on you. Alright, I'm going to need to go into my Urken Enigma because of the scientist. Not very good when there's a scientist right up your uh, backside. At least there is a vampire flower here though to heal us. There's another vampire flower over there. People are really enjoying the vampire flower. I don't see too many of those to be honest. I think it's probably one of the best sunflowers in the entire game. There's a lot of mechs over there, though. I will tell you that for free. Alright. There's a there's a little drake over here. I've not got my Arcane Enigma. How do I survive that? I have no idea how I managed to survive that. Get the orbs, though. The orbs are the main thing, not the vanquishes. We need to get those orbs. There we go. Where's, where's this sunflower gone? I could really do with the sunflower right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where's the... Um... What? Where did he come from? If he spawned there, if he actually spawned there behind me, then wow. Wow. <laughs> I didn't see him go behind, though. I didn't see him come from the left, so I'm curious if he did actually spawn there. If he did, that is a pretty darn terrible spawn. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can take out this Super Brains character. Come on, down you go. There we go. We need, we need, we need someone to get that orb. I can't get it. Oh, no, I'm dead. Scientist got me. 
Gravity grenade and scientist just uh Nope. Not gonna be able to survive that one. I'm gonna let this chomper revive me though if you possibly can. There we go. I, I would like it if the sunflower was able to heal me as well. Oh no. I got wrecked once again. That was by the explosion as well. Wow. As soon as you get as soon as you you, you like you you get revived, just dead straight away again. And we spawn here. I would expect us to spawn on the other side of the map. Seems all the zombies are over there. I would have expected us to spawn on the other side of the map, but hey ho, what are you gonna do? Let us see if we can get this little Drake. Come on, little Drake, stop being all wiggly. There we go. I'm gonna go into my icon enigma. I'm hopefully. Come on, I'm a jumper. Yeah, there we go. I was. What was that? Are you kidding me? I didn't even realize he was still alive. He was on three percent and he took me out. I think he's still alive over there. Oh no, there's like there's like four imps. How are they still alive? There we go. That is definitely going down now. And we're getting this. Do we we got nothing for that. Oh no, where we go? We got the we got the streak eventually. It was a delayed one. It was delayed. So it seems we rose. Being quite far away is not very effective at all. They have increased the range of it, but you do need to get very very close. Uh, well, not very close, but you can get further away by five meters. But you do have to get that closer. But I can definitely notice a difference with the tracking. <laughs> Look at that. He used a rope kick and it knocked him back into where he where he died and then collected the orb. All right, we're gonna put him in a time snare. There we go, and then let's hopefully. Uh, oh no, this super brings is more of a threat currently. So let's try and take him out. There we go. Is the mech still alive? I don't know if the mech's still alive or not. I think the mech's down. But uh, we've got our own little group here. As long as the scientists don't come and just destroy us. All right, I'm gonna go to fight that scientist if I can. Nope, didn't work. We do. Uh, I do get a crazy orb though. I don't know why. I, I don't. I didn't even realize there was one there. But all right, let's. Uh, if I had my go to fire, I'd be able to turn. I'd be able to. Uh, to like go to fire them. Oh, it gets gooped anyway, so that's no worries. Scientist is a threat though. Scientist is a threat. Come on. The range on the scientist, man. On the chemist, that range ten percent as well. Ah, so lucky. So 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 lucky. But um. What are we doing with Rose? How are we doing? We've got eight Vanquishes so far with Rose on a map where I wouldn't say she is the best. Like, these uh, Team Vanquish maps and, and so and so are probably not the best. You want to play like Turf Takeover or something like that. They're probably the best maps for Rose because you are either going to be straight defending or attacking. You know the zombies are always going to be spawning in front of you rather than being up. Oh, he's gone flying rather than behind you. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I would say that it's better. There we go. There's another Vanquish. Let us go and get the orb. Never mind. The Frozen. Frozen Citron's gonna get it instead. All right, let's use the. There we go. We just managed to get him. We got a shared vanquish for that though, which is fine. Let's collect the orb, which I didn't actually collect. Let's uh, let's get you into your turbo twister there. Oh no, let's get into that. There we go. All right, I'm gonna have to back off a second. Hopefully, this sunflower's gonna be able to heal me. I heard some beams. He just got a triple barrel blast vanquish. I bet he's feeling good about himself right now. Look at all the dead bodies. Look at them all. That'll be a sunflower's dream. Right there. All right, I'm going to put him in a time snare just so we can't go into his turbo twister. We get a time snare assist for that, which is fine. I'm actually going to go around the right over here. Try and do a sneaky attack from behind. Oh no, there's a party of them. All right, I have a feeling. Oh no! I was going to say, I had a feeling he was going to call in his mech, and he did. Come on, mech. Down you go, down you go, down you go, down you go, down you go. There we go. I have a feeling we're going to get attacked again. Let's see if we can take out this power pal. It's not looking like it. Let's see if we can take out the foot soldier. We're going to time snare you. I actually think I missed the time snare, but it doesn't matter. Because we get taken out by the chemist anyway. So, um, yeah. Don't, don't know, uh... I guess Rose Rose has definitely been improved. I wouldn't say she is overpowered though, but there we go. We get a we get a game completed with uh with Rose on at Team Vanquish. I think we're gonna play one more game just so we can see exactly how good she is. I wouldn't say she's overpowered, but you can definitely tell she has been improved. She's still playing as a support character. Definitely not overpowered though. Uh, what do we get? We get the first strike. We didn't get the most vanquishes or the highest vanquish streak. The highest vanquish streak was eight. I think we probably got maybe four or five. 
in that game. Let's have a look how we did. We got a Vanquish Duke of 7. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that. We got 16 assists as well. We went 14 and 7, so that's not too bad as well. So, yeah, we're going to play one more game. So, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, here we go, guys, for a second game on Coliseum. Now, this one is probably more of Rose's style. I feel like this is probably one where uh, there's that little bit more range. So, it's going to have the more turf takeover feel to uh to to this character so uh yeah having that little bit more range although the spawns are still not direct you can kind of control where the spawns are going to be just a little bit more than you could with boney island so let us see how we do in this game i did see a captain dead beer. there's also an imp there so let's time snare that imp and let's try and take him out we get a time snare assist for that not a vanquish but we do get an assist for it let's see if we can take out that imp come on with the imp carter come on come on get a shared vanquish for that we actually, uh, we actually got the Vanquish for that, which is pretty nice. Um, Alright, where do we want to go? We got an Imp down there, so let's try and take that Imp out. We actually have a couple of Imps, so the question is, which one do we go for? <laughs> there is a couple of Imps there. Which one do we go for? There's one coming up, sneaking up over here. There we go, he's got his Gravity Grenade. I'm actually going to go into my, uh, into my Time Snare. Can we take out the Imp? We do. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting worried about, a little bit about that Electro Brains. And also the astronaut, which is not good either. He goes down though. We do get a vanquished streak for that one. That one was probably more based off um, just I think it was on some low health as well, rather than actually just being in the correct range. So uh, let's uh, let's time snare this pile on him. Let's hopefully do some damage to him and maybe be able to take him out before he throws in a gravity grenade. Yes, we do, but we do go down with the archaeologist. That was there. Using the excavator, we do get the revive though, so we actually don't even get the points for the crazy orb. How many crazy orbs have we actually got? I'm actually curious how many we've got. We got eight so far out of 15, so if we can get a few more, we may be able to get that completed in today's game. Uh, we have a we have a scientist and an imp coming right now, so this like seems like the perfect range. Like even if it's a scientist, it does seem like a really a really good range. My orb, my orb. I thought I, uh, I thought I time snared him, so I don't know how he even threw that. I guess I, my time snare missed him by the slightest, the slightest margin. But I actually thought I, uh, I got him. But I guess not. It doesn't really matter. We, uh, we get revived anyway, and they didn't get the orb, so it's not too much of a deal. Let's see if we can take him out though this time. I believe this is the same guy. Let's, uh, can we go to find him? Nope, we missed that. We miss it. There is, there is a pile on him though. Sneaking up behind me. The little sneaky one. Titania. The little sneaky imp. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Anyone watching the video? Say sneaky in the comments. Sneaky S. What is it? S H N E A K Y. I want a H in there. Not sneaky. A H after the S. A sneaky. <laughs> Alright. Scientist here. Probably not the best having two scientists together. Do we time snow any of them? We don't. Oh, there's an Electro Brains as well. Just don't heroic kick. Oh, you can you can, you can, can go into your uh, Turbo Twister all you like, my friend. I will just take you out of it. All right, we got a pile on him here as well. Let's get him down. He's actually not hit me once yet. Oh, I say that and I go into a gravity grenade. Oh, no, something's behind me. Quick, get into the... Come on, down you go, down you go, down you go, down you go, down you go. No, oh, he does go down, but then an imp picks up the orb and then takes me out. The pylon punishes. It's actually hard to tell that was a pylon imp then, to be honest. That was actually really hard to tell that was a pylon imp from the customizations. Uh, sometimes it can be quite difficult. Sometimes the armored chomper looks like just a standard chomper, like the hot rod chomper, and then it comes up to you and it's like, um, does 50 damage, and like, oh, that's an armored chomper. Oh, did a... Uh, did not realize that. Look at all these people following me. Shout out to everyone who's joining the game. You're actually all going to be in a video. So, uh, oh, that is not good. That is Electro Brain's dream right there. That is Electro Drain's... Uh, Electro Drain? Electro Brain's dream. There's a Vanquish. Let's try and godify that imp over there. There we go. A couple of scientists over here. We take one out. Can we get the second one? We want to get the orb, though. That's the priority. We want to try and get the orb. Try and get this super range here as well. Oh no. Oh no you don't. No, he goes down. I kind of just took someone's orb then, so I do apologize for that. I got wrecked. I think that was the pylon imp again. And he used imp card. I didn't even hear the, uh, the... That the imp makes. I didn't even hear that. 
So, I thought that might have just been the standard pile of names attack anyway, but it wasn't. Are you calling in your mech? No, you are not. I will take... No! No! Come on! What is that? It just... That's what I don't like about the game is when someone blatantly just steals your orb. I will accidentally do it sometimes, or if I feel like the orb might get taken. But, I mean, come on. He just zoomed right in front of me and then just like, nope, I'm having that orb. Thank you very much. I bet I only need a few orbs as well. I needed, I need, I need, I need three more orbs to get that completed. But there we go, guys. There is Rose. Definitely not overpowered. You can tell the improvements, though. I don't have the damage or the tracking on this character as well. So when I put those on, it's going to be that much more powerful. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about the new Rose character in the comment section down below. We got 10 assists that game. We got the Assist Master. Uh, I think we got... Oh, I was going to say we might have got about 10 Vanquishes. I know the highest was 12. So how many did we get? Uh, oh, we got 12 as well. Uh, fair enough. We got 12 Vanquishes as well. So we got Joint Highest Vanquishes. We went uh, 12 and 6. So we actually uh, got the same KD as 2 that we did last time. We got 10 assists. Highest Vanquish streak of, uh, of 4. So overall... Rose has definitely been improved, but nowhere near overpowered like she was at the launch of the game. But there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you do leave a like down below. It does show your support for the channel and shows them that you do want to see more. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero Exfusions, and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.